Hi, I see you guys. What's up and what's good with y'all? Welcome for my new subscribers and welcome back for all my returning subscribers. So you guys, I'm going to be getting into your reading for November 2022. Happy early birthday to all of the Afi Yukis out there. Okay, period. I hope y'all turn it up having fun and planning for your birthday. You guys, this is going to be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, Aphiuchus. Take whatever parts resonate with you and leave the rest for another Aphiuchus. Let's see what spirit has for you. Whatever jumps out, that's what we're going to read, okay? And that's the energy that I am going to be picking up on, okay? So this could be about the past, present, the future, okay? I am going into more current energy today, and I could be talking about somebody else around you, so keep Keep that in mind, okay? All right. Let's see what spirit has for you. Let's see what jumps out. Let's see what jumps out. I feel you, guess. Okay, wow. Look at this card. Stuck in the damn bushes. In the plants. Okay? So you have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, wow. Let me move this. So, hmm... I feel like, let me see, okay, I feel like somebody's dissatisfied with the Four of Cups. This may be a missed opportunity. This also speaks about stagnation, focusing on the negative. Um, let's talk about depression, boredom, I was going to say suppression. Um, that's like the Ace of Cups in reverse. Suppressed emotions, okay. Um, nostalgia, frustration, okay. I feel like you're not interested in someone. Pisces energy, Cancer energy, Scorpio. You're rejecting someone, you're not feeling them, you're not interested, you're like, no. Okay, I feel like you're re you're rejecting someone's offer, and they're sad, they're at a loss, Five of Cups. They're really sad, crying, okay, they're in mourning over the loss of the connection, over the loss of you. Okay, they're going through guilt, remorse, regret, heartbreak. There's more focusing on the negative motions. So somebody's really focusing on the negative motions right here. Okay, isolation and loneliness is, is very heavy here in this energy. A lot of water. So somebody's very emotional at this time. And it's becoming a burden with the Ten of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You may have fire in your chart or there's a fire sign that you're connected to. But you're overburdened, overloaded with responsibilities. This also speaks about stress. You know, carrying all other people's burdens. Feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders here. You know, there's some heavy energy here. Alright, that someone is carrying. There's a lot of burdens that you're carrying that's not yours or your own. And there are just, it's just too much to bear. It's too much. With the Ten of Wands here, okay, I feel like you guys want to put these burdens down. You may be feeling like you're take, being taken for granted or you're taking on too much. So basically, somebody's very emotional because they're feeling burdened. They feel stressed out, you know. Someone could be depressed or it's just negative emotions right here. Okay, you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. Someone that's focused on... Your work, your finances, okay? Maybe you're looking at your finances, or this could be you. Or this could be um, someone you live with, share resources and property with, with this Queen of Pentacles. Now, apply this wherever you need to. This could be a job or a business, too. So, take it how it, it applies to you guys, okay? Let's see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Wait, first, let's... Give me some past energy. What happened in the past? What happened in the past? Huh. You guys were calling for karmic justice? Huh. Oh, oh, that's what happened in the past. Fell in the plants again. Something going on with the plants. All right. I feel like somebody, <laughs> they see you as their wish fulfillment, Ten of Cups. But what happened in the past is, you were calling for karmic justice. You know, I feel like you wanted your justice. I feel like someone 
treated you unjustfully and you were calling for karmic justice. Somebody was caught red-handed with the Seven of Swords in reverse. This is someone that wants to make things right with the justice card. They want to confess. They want to lay all their cards on the table. Turn over a new leaf. Their, their, their guilty conscience is kicking in. It could be. Okay? This person wants to come clean. They do. They want to come clean and tell you everything that had happened. Okay? Because I feel like they may be having some legal issues too. This could either be through you or whoever or whatever the case may be. But they were caught red-handed. Okay, I feel like in the past this person did not open up. They weren't being expressive. You know, they weren't... They were holding back and holding off. You know, being stingy. The Four of Pentacles speaks about stinginess, greediness, possessiveness. Holding on to people. I feel like when this person did what they did, they became attached. You know, they're still holding on to people. Or past issues, you know, that they have not dealt with yet. Okay, I do see you controlling your emotions here. You may be keeping something close to your chest or saving up for a big purchase. You may be moving out, retiring, or it could be a car. Yeah. You may have been thinking about divorcing this person or taking this person to court. But I feel like now they want to come clean. I see balance being restored here with the justice card. I see truth coming out. I see honesty. So someone's going to tell you the truth. They're going to confess. Okay. I do feel like this person is afraid to. With the four of pentacles. They're holding back and holding off. So they might not be telling you every single thing. They may be holding some stuff in. Holding some stuff back. Not being expressive all the way. Okay, because the Four of Pentacles is someone that is holding back and holding off and not opening up. So this could be that they're going to come in. They want to be honest with you and tell you the truth and come clean. But they, they're they still holding on. They're still very attached to something that they did. Or they're, they're not opening up to you and telling you the truth all the way. But I feel like this person is holding on to you um, with the Four of Pentacles. So I do feel like... Spirit was trying to guide you away from this person with the Six of Swords here. Alright. Let's see. They want to move away to a place of peace and karma waters with you. Okay, yeah, you feel like they're being very secretive. You're using your intuition about this situation here. Okay. Yeah. It's something that they're not telling you. <laughs> Even though they're confessing and laying it all out. Like I told you. They're holding back. There's something that they're not saying. There's some secret information that they're holding on to. Okay. And they're running away from it. That's why they're not telling you. Okay. But I feel like you're using your intuition about this. It's like you already know. You have some inner knowing here. This is divination into play. This is your spirit guides coming at you. This is discovering the truth or your truth. I feel like you were just looking for the truth, right? Yes. So there's some secrets or some something that is not being said here. So this person is, is hardly talking. They're trying to run away from whatever they're trying to tell you. You want the truth. Or you're going to walk away and let them go, eight of cups. Your intuition may be telling you to just walk away. Or withdraw from them. You know, you're very disappointed that this person is keeping these secrets from you. Because you know, you're very intuitive. The high priestess is showing up. It's like, duh, I already know, dummy. <laughs> it's like, dummy, I already know. <laughs> so, you can try to hide it. You can try to walk away from it. You can try to run away from it. Yeah, they already showed you who they are. The star card, they already revealed their true selves to you. You gonna believe them or no? Uh. <laughs> this person, they see you as somebody very special to them with the star. And the four of wands, they see you as someone that is their twin. 
Okay, they do have hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, and work things out together and still live together if you are living together because they do love you. They have feelings for you. This is how you're feeling. Okay, you're very nurturing, loving, caring, giving. A lot of you are empaths or you're into an occult. You have occult interests here. This may be the parent of your child. It's not gender based, so it could be a baby mom, a baby daddy, but they're they have a lot of feelings for you. They're very emotional. You you make this person emotional. Hmm. Pay attention to your dreams. You may be dreaming about this person, or this person is dreaming about you. Hmm. How's this all gonna play out? You either were married to this person or engaged to this person or something. Or living with them. Living together situation. There's an unexpected change happening here. Yeah. I feel like the tables is turning or something is happening. Yeah. They feel stuck and stagnant now. I feel like y'all are not speaking. Or you're not talking to them or something. There's a lot of waiting there's uncertainty. I feel like this person is receiving karma. I feel like their karma is being left on red, stuck, trapped, block, blocked, confused. They need to change their... I feel like you both are changing your perspective here and seeing each other differently. Huh. Something is coming in for you. It could be some money because you're looking. Fortune is changing. This is something you've been waiting on. Alright. So you went somewhere. You may be returning from your travels or a holiday. Or you're, you're traveling somewhere. And you're returning home now. Yeah, it was just bad timing. I feel like you were losing momentum in this connection. I feel like if this person does try to call you with the eight of wands in reverse, you're not answering the phone as fast as you would you would you used to. You're not answering their messages. You're ignoring them. Yeah, you're leaving them on red. You're ignoring their text messages, their phone calls. You're ignoring the voicemail. Um, you're just letting it go straight to voicemail or whatever. But you're not calling for them. You're not chasing them. You're not asking about them. You're not taking any action towards them. You left them hanging. And now they're trying to call you, get through to you, send you messages. But it's like now it's being returned to the sender. So either they was blocked for some of you. It's like a small, 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 small portion of you. Or, you know, you're not answering this call. I can see them putting out a lot of cigarettes or a lot of blunts in the ashtray. Um, two of pentacles. Yeah, I see this two of pentacles talks about money. It also talks about balance. So I see balance coming in. Or you're finding some sort of balance. It's like you guys will start talking and then you will stop talking. You would talk and then, you know, maybe they would pull away or you would stop talking or they would stop talking. But I feel like right now, there is no talking right now. Or this will happen. Like, this, you're not, you're like, let that shit ring. You're putting it on silent mode or you're pressing ignore or swiping the ignore. Or you're just letting it ring. Go to spam box or something. I'm seeing yeah, there's new love coming in for you. A new person, someone younger than you, Pisces, could be another Ophiuchus like you. Someone who's very sensitive, someone who's psychic, um, kind, someone who's thoughtful, introverted, very quiet, dreamy. They may have dreamy eyes. They love the color blue or they like to wear a lot of blue. Very youthful. You guys are very psychic. You're listening to your intuition about this new love as well. Okay. Yeah, you're showing up as the empress. So, spirit 
is giving you an opportunity of new love, okay? If you want it with this secret admirer or this secret lover or someone's secret here. You know, I feel like this person is going to be coming in towards you with some news of love or messages of love. Maybe asking you out or giving you a small offer of love. Yeah, because they see you as someone very beautiful, very creative, very sensual, feminine, very harmonious. Okay, that's how they see you as the empress. I feel like you're creating something new here. This person wants to get you pregnant. You may be finding out that you're pregnant. Okay. Yeah. So let's get into some more messages. I feel like this new love is going to invest in you. If you want that. Um, maybe a king of pentacles towards Virgo Cap. Capricorn. Alright. So let's see what else comes out for you guys from the spirit. Spirit. Guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Show me some clear, honest messages for Aphiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Aphiuchus, Spirit wants you to trust the divine plan, believe in miracles. Okay, the angels are coming in to help you. This could be whoever you've called upon. This could be Archangel Michael. Let's see who else is here. Divine Intervention. Who else? What else? Maybe dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces. Yeah, I feel like this person, they see you as their rock. They see you as somebody who loves and supports them. You know, they see this connection as a solid foundation. They see security in it. They see stability in it. But they were taking you for granted. It says unvalued. It says taken for granted. Unequal give and take. Not feeling appreciated. So you were not feeling appreciated by this person. They were taking you for granted. Breadcrumbing you. Okay. Because you gave a lot of your love to them. And I feel like this person was very hot and cold. It says sins, mixed signals, inconsistency, lack of clarity. Yeah, you really don't. You really didn't know what was going on with this person. Okay, they were very hot and cold. I feel like this person is cursed. So this is how you see them. It says string of bad relationships, karmic cycle. This person may be giving you the evil, the evil eye, but there's a karmic cycle here. You are dealing with a karmic, and it says paralyzed. It says paralyzed by love, holding back. Yeah, this person has a fear of falling in love. They're paralyzed by love. They're, they, they feel stuck, trapped, and blocked. Okay, and I feel like this could be you holding back. Pulling back your energy here. What else do you have? Yeah, because this person, it says runner. So this person's always running from from you, running from the connection. It says running from themselves or ignoring you. So they're always ignoring you, running from the connection, running from themselves. They're like in and out. Okay, very hot and cold here. They're a runner. Okay, I feel like, yeah. Let's see. So they have a fear of falling in love and they run from that. You know, they keep running from you and it's like, how much can you take already? I feel like this person wants to get you pregnant. Like I said before, you guys are pregnant or you're creating something new here. You're giving birth to something new here. Okay, it... Could be this new cycle. It says new beginnings. End of a cycle. Yeah, you're making a fresh new start here. You're going after that. I feel like you're closing out the cycle with this person here. Same thing I was saying in your tarot reading. Because I feel like you're having a spiritual awakening. You're going through a spiritual awakening. Okay, uh, um, I feel like this is a love activation. The heart space is opening. And I feel like there's a twin flame ascension coming in for you. Yeah, a lot of passion. It says lustful desires, sexual chemistry craving you. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion between um, you and, and someone else that you're starting a new cycle with. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, it says sex. A lot of sex. Okay. And, yeah. 
Let's see what else Spirit has for you. I feel you this. One more. Give me one more message. Okay, it's a lot of cards here. All right. Whoa. Okay. Well, I feel like there is new love here. Okay, there is someone better coming in for you. So there is new love here. This is who you're going to be experiencing these things with. A new love interest. You're letting go of an ex. But I feel like this player is coming back to work and to help with you. It says, want to work things out. They will return. There's unfinished business. But there's some red flags. Some lies and secrets. Secrets. The signs are cautioning you. This person has some bad intentions. They have bad intentions when they come in. So protect yourself. I feel like they're still on that play ass bullshit. It says playing the field. Refusing to commit. Grass is greener syndrome. So they're still not going to choose you. They're still going to play the field. And refuse to commit. Yeah. See it says. It says refusing to change, not budging. So this person, is, they don't want to change their ways. They want to come back and reconcile with you, but they're still in this play of energy. They're still, your person is so very stubborn, inflexible, and I feel like you're standing your ground. Both of you are not budging. Because you, you have a fear of choosing wrong. You don't want to choose them. And they still in this bullshit. Alright? This is a very difficult decision you're having to make, but I feel like, you know... Go with the new love. I'm seeing the new love is a little bit better than this this other person. But there may be so much sex between you and this new love that you may be questioning. Hey, is this love or is this lust? And you may find yourself like, you know, pulling back a little bit. That's the only thing I'm seeing that can happen between you and this new love. But again, even with the new love being here and this past person, I feel like you don't want to choose wrong. There's a fear of choosing the wrong motherfucker. Because this person that you were dealing with was just lying just to be lying. It was like a hobby or a sport for them. They, they love lying. It has nothing to do with you. It's certain shit in this person that they have not healed. That they're running from. You know, like I told you. Right here. They want to come clean and tell you something. But they're running away from that conversation. They're running away from opening up too much and telling you too much. So it's just some things. It could be fear that this person needs to work on. Or just some discipline. Let's see. What spirit has for you? Honeymoon. So there's a honeymoon phase. Could be with a new love or... This, this past person may be coming back around around the holiday season. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are fucking cautioning you. If I Listen, I'm telling you. I feel you kiss. Red flags. Lies and secrets. Red flags. What does that say? Red motherfucking flags. Okay. I Listen. <laughs> There's some family issues that need to be healed. You may have children together. Spirit wants you to trust them. Trust the divine plan. Like they was telling you earlier. Okay. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So. The same messages is coming out. Like in these other two spreads. It's the same message. Alright. Let's see. Yeah. You don't get along with someone. They want you to trust them. Yeah, they they wanting to express their love to you, but you're you're retreating cuz I feel like they're not telling you everything that you're trying to get to know. All right. Yeah, this ex has not released you. They refuse to let you go. All right. They feel you're worth waiting for. They're going to come back around here. They just waiting for divine timing. Because divine timing is at work in your love life. Just like this wheel of fortune. Alright. Where's that wheel of fortune? Anyway. It's somewhere. I know I pulled it for you guys. I know I did. I know I pulled it. Anyway. Yeah. Here it is. It's all in divine timing. This was meant to happen. This was meant to play out. Spirit orchestrated this. You had no control over this. Right? But true love is coming in. This is what divine timing is for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek or you will. 
let go of control issues, I feel this. Okay? Or you may be learning to. You and this person is going to get together, spend a lot of time together. Open yourselves up to one another. Yeah, this is a soulmate union coming in. Alright, this is definitely a soulmate. Oh, give me a second, you guys, because my kids are too damn loud. Alright. There may be children involved here. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you. Yeah. So, this, 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 this person is refusing to let you go. But they don't want to change their ways. I mean, this may be you or this person who's a brunette female. This could be somebody that you work with. Yeah. This could be at a, this, you may be a brunette female. You may be in college. Or you may meet this person around your workplace. Or, yeah, maybe a blonde female. I'm seeing three women. So, are these like uh, people you work with or do business with? Or is this you? A blonde female and a brunette female. Okay, and then this other woman at work. So this may be a boss or a manager here. Or you may have like a team. Like you may be a shift manager or something. What the hell? Alright, so there is a twin flame coming in. Or this person that you were dealing with is a karmic. A blonde female or brunette female. Somebody you were in a partnership with. Yeah. I see an uh, increase in your finances here. There's a soulmate coming in too. So a karmic is coming in and a soulmate. I see a serious relationship coming up for you. I'm seeing someone wanting to court you. Courting man. You may be a young male or there's a young male coming towards you. Someone who likes cars is very sporty. Someone who likes road trips or this courting man may be um, showing you to uh, like a property. If you're trying to move, they may be helping you get like a, a, an apartment or a detached house or something like that. Okay, so something is very casual. There's an open relationship. Or there's no commitment right now. Okay. Yeah, you're focused on your career. I feel like you're not. I feel like even if somebody is coming in, you just focus on your work and career, your money, stability. Yeah, you have your options open. Yeah. You guys may be shy or encountering someone who is shy and withholding someone who holds back a lot. Yeah, I'm seeing you networking with friends, acquaintances. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you guys may be moving, getting a new home. Or going to a house party. There's a fair male here and a, and a dark male. Okay, this was meant to happen. There's new love. So this may be, some of you may be same sex. Some of you aren't. Male or female, doesn't matter. Some of you are opposite sex. Um, but I see new love coming in. So that is all. That is it. That is all the messages that I have for you. I for you, guess. Um, I didn't expect for it to last this long. You guys, um, I love you so very much. And with that being said, you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'll see y'all in the next reading. Bye-bye, y'all.